Next up in our quick base chart series are panel charts. For those of you who may be here for the first time, or perhaps are not familiar with this feature, charts in QuickBase are a great way to efficiently analyze and interact with your table's data at a glance, making them an effective way to bridge the gap between data and decisions. While table reports may be the most commonly used in QuickBase, chart reports are a great way for those who consider themselves more of a visual learner. Perhaps a table filled with data, like the ones you're seeing here right now, and information can feel a bit overwhelming for you. Charts are a great way to get an executive high-level overview of your data in a simple and direct way. Many of our clients find these particularly useful on their dashboards. But before we get into that, just a quick intro into us. We're Juice Technologies. We've been helping QuickBase users like yourselves get more value out of their applications for the better part of 20 years. We provide add-ons, plugins, and professional services that extend the native capabilities of QuickBase, supporting you every step of the way. Now, as I mentioned, the funnel charts are going to be made in the reports and charts section from the top. So in this example, we're looking at the company's table and we open down reports and charts and we're going to hit new. Now we're going to select chart in this example and create. Once you're in your chart, we can simply call this a funnel report and we'll keep this as my description. As I've mentioned in other videos, you can always narrow down who can see this report based off of their role. So you can choose either users in my role or users in a specific role. You could also hide this to only be yourself. If you go down and select chart details and select type, this is where you'll see all of the available charts in QuickBase. For this example video, we're gonna go through funnels. Once you have your funnel chart selected, you're gonna go through and select what you want to actually have the funnel group by. I think for this CRM application, we should be going by lead status. So we can see all the different equal values of leads. And then for the data values themselves, we're going to look at all of the number of companies that we've gone through in lead status. We're also going to be able to sort, but we are going to want to sort this by lead status as well from low to high. We want to start from the lower numbers. Then we can always show the data labels. I believe that's going to help those more visual learners get a summary of what they're looking at. And we're going to have value and name in this example. I believe that's going to help everyone who's viewing this get a numeric value as well as the name of the type of lead it is. It may be in progress, maybe qualified. We're going to see that in just a moment. Report formulas we're not going to get into as that's going to be a little bit more uh, over the top for this type of video. Uh, and we're also not going to get into these summary values. But we are going to go into some more additional filters uh, with filter by company records. And then you're going to also be able to choose by lead status. So the field lead status starts with, and we're going to make this O. So it's going to bring in only the leads that have not been sourced to a, to a full on new customer. These are just leads. So let's go ahead and hit save. And again, just to touch upon this, we, these are our dynamic filters where you can toggle and further filter once you actually save your report. So let's see here, we have 24 records where the lead status starts with O, so these are all our new leads. And you can actually hover over this legend on the right here, and you can see that the rest of it kind of blurs out, and you can see just the number of new leads. And this is what I was talking about before with number and name. So we can see these are new leads, and there's six of them, or qualified leads, and there's four, or prospect leads, and seven. You could always click in and hide that section if you'd like or you can click into these individual portions of the funnel and actually view the full report itself, where it will show you just the data points for those individual lead records. That is a high level summary of funnel reports. If you enjoyed this video, please shoot it a like. It's gonna help us reach more QuickBase users like yourselves. And if you're interested in staying up to date with future QuickBase tips, tricks, tutorials, or learn more about charts, go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll be notified when we drop our next video. Thanks so much for watching and we hope to talk to you soon.